One Alpha, S of over your ops, are you on frequency? Not hearing anything. We wanted a really busy household. They're going to be able to connect up to 100 devices and do all the things they love. And in this instance, provide the meaningful data to land an aircraft. Versus S of your ops, are you on frequency? 15, it's that one alpha, radio check. Fiber works. We landed the plane and show really what our new product can handle. <laughs> Get groceries in minutes. Download the app now. I'm Paul Sinner, and this is the quiz about television's favourite subject, itself. Tonight, two teams will test their knowledge of anything and everything that's ever been on telly. It's a big subject, but fortunately, two of the brainiest celebrities I've ever met will be our regular captains. So please welcome the wonderful, warm and talented Faye Ripley and Bromley resident Rob Beckett. Where do you live, Paul? Crystal Palace, not a long way away. Not far at all, is it? No, we would meet if we were mates. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to colleagues. Yeah. Hello, Rob. Oh, let's see how this goes, if we could. That'd be nice. Yeah. It's unlikely, but it'd be nice. <laughs> Hello, Rob. <laughs> Who have you got on your tip today? Um, I've got the incredible Catherine Tilsey and the wonderful Adil Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Adil Ray, Adil Ray, OBE. Thank you very much. OBE has got a, um, yeah. you know, yeah. what does it mean? Uh, means uh, Order of the Office of British Empire. Yeah. The Office so, of the Order of the British Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OBE. He's got a medal for yeah. being Adil Ray. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I've got a list off to my name as well. Ooh. Can I mention them now? Go on then, Faye. ASTO, Faye Ripley ASTO. What's that? What does that mean? Uh, Association of Suntan Operators. And that is an actual <laughs> thing, and I've got a proper piece of paper and a diploma and everything. I'm right. just saying. Wow, is it like being corgi registered right. well, in suntans? Yeah. Well, as you, yeah. As, you can see, as you can see, Faye, I've been in it longer. <laughs> Faye, ASTO. Yeah. Who's on your team? Um, well, I'm lucky. I've got the funniest man in the room. Sorry, guys. Wow. Josh oh. Whittaker. Oh. I mean, I'm not going to lie, suddenly everyone hates me. <laughs> suddenly? suddenly. <laughs> Josh I'm, not one, I'm not the one bragging about his bloody knighthood. Or <laughs> yeah, 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 I was asked the question. <laughs> I think she means funny as in weird. Anyway. <laughs> I'm also lucky enough to have the lady who watches telly. And I know that because I watch her on the telly watching telly. Now, we're on the telly. <laughs> Talking about telly. It's Denise from Alton. Hello. Denise, welcome. Thank you, lovely speaking. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Princess Denise of Basildon, you need to call me. My God, is there anyone who hasn't got a title? Because <laughs> <laughs> thus far, I'm just Twitter's shit neck. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Uh, what's your favourite telly? I'm very eclectic. I do love a good drama, but I love comedy. I love things like Bake Off, Strictly. Yeah, a bit of a mixture, really. So everything that's on telly? Oh. Everything that's on telly. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit sad. Could you name a recommendation for us? Bake Off always makes me happy. Oh, Who doesn't love it. cake? Well, Rob's cutting down his... I've felt quite a few of us are cutting down like yeah, I'm trying to ease off carbs. But I do love cake. I don't trust anybody that doesn't like cake. It's like when people say they don't like chocolate. I'm like, really? What did you do for Easter? Nothing. It's <laughs> <laughs> a sandwich I went to bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's kick off. Rob, your team's first. I'm going to show you a clip. Then you're going to get three questions about the clip. Okay. Have a look at this. <laughs> Oh, 
surprise, surprise. <laughs> Pharrell, good way to meet you. Holly Pharrell, Pharrell, Holly. Yes. What a clip that was. So your first question is, who's the presenter? Seen in that clip? Uh, well, I Martin. think it's Dave Berry. It is very much the one and only Dave Berry. So, that was surprise, surprise. Have you ever been surprised on television? I have, actually. Well, numerous times. But there was one particular time I was filming for Florence Nightingale up in Derbyshire and I was playing a sister. And we all had to get corseted up. But my corset was extra small, so they had to sew me in the dress. I was on the makeup truck. And out of nowhere, the biggest spider you've ever seen, like straight out the jungle, dropped into my cleavage, oh. <laughs> wormed its way down. The only person on the makeup truck was a really posh male producer. And I was like, get me out of my fucking dress! I was like, I'll just get to the first one. I'm like, get me out of my fucking dress! I'm like, get me out of my fucking dress! Anyway, cut me out, and we found a flying ant under my left boob as well. <laughs> Posh, what would you have done? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll mean, just say, if you sent it to a scaffold from South East London, I'm no, sure I'd go, yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he would have just bobbed it off himself and yeah. he was like, I'll just get somebody from Goods. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your second question. Who was the original host of Surprise, Surprise? Yeah. There, was, well, there wasn't anyone before Scylla. No. There's, n there's no one ever before Scylla. Did she do the first one? the first woman on telly. She <laughs> was there. <laughs> okay. We're very sure that it's Scylla Black. Yes, it is. The first woman on telly. <laughs> it is indeed Scylla Black. The much loved Scylla Black. Who was the first woman on telly? Do you know? Yeah, it was a woman called Indrajit Mandraker. <laughs> She was really, really good. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I don't, I don't know if it's true. What, is that true? No, it's not. <laughs> you should just say yes, because we believe you. That's the power of a talk level quizzer. You say anything, and especially if you sort of look over your glasses like that, you can say what well, anything. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Your final question is, who's the presenter? Seen in that clip. It is very much Scylla Black. Yes. Yeah. 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 What is Scylla Black's real name? Oh, I think it's so. Is it Paul? Does it get me? Oh, sorry. What did you say? I thought, is it Priscilla? I think it's, oh, is it Priscilla White? Oh, no, you're right. You're right, that. you're right. Yes. Is it Priscilla White? It is indeed Priscilla White. Yes. Well done. 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 I didn't know I was there. Well done. Well done. So, Faye, your team next. Yes. Here's your clip. Have a look at this. Oh, the wolf is losing his grip. It won't be for the first time. He's hanging on by Cassius's vest. It's more of a strip down than a takedown. Wolf trying to get hold of something less flimsy than the light bar. He's gone. He's just going to kick him down. Hey, let's give it up for Cass. He scores 10 points. Mm -hmm. Wolf's in no mood to mess about. Ejects Cassius from the platform. Blimey, that's the fastest Jeremy's moved all season. Cassius giving a bit of verbal to the Wolfman. He doesn't want to do that. Oh, Jeremy Gascoigne with a rugby tackle. That was the incredibly popular ITV show Gladiators. From the moment it started, the show had controversy, scandal, and sexual intrigue. They soon changed their names to Jet Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Your first question is. Who were the two original presenters of Gladiators? Oh, I know. oh um, was I'm... it Fashionu? Yeah, John Fashionu. John Fashionu. And Ulrika. And Ulrika Johnson. Yes. Ulrika? That's right, it was Ulrika Johnson and John Fashanu. Oh. <laughs> Your second question. Which long-running comedy panel show was Ulrika Johnson a team captain? Oh, um, Dick and Bob. Shooting Stars. Shooting Stars. Shooting Stars. Shooting Stars. Shooting stars. It is indeed Shooting Stars. You're doing well? Doing well. The world, we're on it. The final question is, Gladiators contender Nicola Borden caused controversy in the first episode when she did what before the wall event? Oh. I think I know what she did. What did she do? Are you, I, you're, you're a super fan. I was a super fan, yeah. I was like, I was, what, 10? Who wasn't, like, at that age, <laughs> I was a peak Gladiators fan. You was, I know what you was a big fan of, and it's a bit awkward, this is a bit awkward to me. It's an awkward moment. Yeah. But Josh was obsessed with the big breakfast. I was. Really? And you especially, <laughs> so this is quite a big moment for you, Josh. Oh, oh, I feel awkward. Yeah. 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 Also, I've seen, like, a couple of episodes of Cold Feet as well. <laughs> I don't expect you to be obsessed with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Josh, the big you've, you've made my day. Oh. You've made an old lady very happy. Thank you. How old were you when you watched it? Oh, I'd have been about 13 or 14. Oh, I, I, now 
I know why you liked it. <laughs> He's a big fan of prickly well, peas. Well, can I just well, say, it's nice to finally meet yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, properly. Yeah. <laughs> Without being laminated. <laughs> um, right, two, oh, gladiators. Oh, yeah. She greased up her legs, I think. She greased her legs. So Gladiator Scorpio couldn't get a grip on her. And after that round, Faze team have three points and Rob's team have three points. Oh. Round two. You're about to see some clues to the identity of a fictional TV character. The sooner you guess, the more points you'll get. And it's Faye to go first. Here are your first clues. Okay. Hi, it's me, Keith Lemon. Okay, here's the clues. This is this is this is. He was born in Wapping. He lived through the war, but he never learned to swim. I mean, Wapping, is that EastEnders? That's East London, yeah. Oh, that could be EastEnders. Uh, so is it an EastEnders thing? Could be only Fools and Horses. Oh, it like, could be Fools and Horses. Or Albert or something. What were the other ones? It... Live Through the War. So that... And yeah. Can't Swim. I don't know about the Can't Swim, because the Live Through the War, you go, that could be... A... Uncle Albert's got a lot of war stories. Yeah. In. Oh, right, maybe. You've got to say something. No, yeah, I'm going to say do something. Uncle Albert. I think okay. it's classic. Uncle Albert. Uncle, Uncle Albert. Well, let's see. Let's have a look at your second clue, see if you oh. change your mind. He's used to that sinking feeling. He loves the story. And he has two naughty nephews. He is Uncle oh, Albert. Oh, he is definitely Uncle Albert. That's, that's incredible. Is it? Is it? Is it? unbelievable. This, I think this might be the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> Just you know, <laughs> Do you know what, Faye? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still saying Uncle, Uncle Albert. Albert. Albert could be a kicker. These are your third and final clues. He has a distinctive bushy beard. His home is named after a South African president. And his catchphrase is, during the war... <laughs> it's Uncle Albert. Faye still looked at me. When they said the thing about the South African president, Faye looked at me like... <laughs> <laughs> I live in Mandela House. Look, live Guys. in Mandela House. Hey, have, you seen any, have you seen any Fools and Horses? What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're you're secretly quite posh, mate, aren't you? Have you heard of Delphi? Oh, goodness me. Yes, indeed. I love it. I love every what, minute of it. What's your favourite episode? Yeah. Oh. There's the one with the guy with the beard talking about the war. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the swimming, the swimming episode. <laughs> That was the where the woman picks up the phone and says, Bouquet! <laughs> yes, yes, that's The guy that roller skates under a bus and... <laughs> oh, are we right or are we right? Yes. <laughs> we want answers, Paul. Let's see who the fictional character actually is. It's Uncle Albert, of course! Yay. Well done, guys. Well, thank you for that. Well done, So, that is three points oh, for these two. Amazing. Oh, Rob's team, you've got a game on your head. Your celebrity clues are coming up now in just a minute. First, a break. See you in a moment. In a moment. Come explore the amazing holiday in Air Transats Canada.